when i was getting started with the data engineering i was confused and scared at the same time because i didn't know if the data engineering is something i really wanted to do and is data engineering will be the stable career in the future because when you make any choices related to your career there are chances that it will affect your entire life i got a lot of requests regarding this topic and i'm finally going to answer all of the questions that you guys ask in the comment section so if you want to learn about data engineering and what data engineering is then you can check out my all other videos but in this video i want to mainly focus on some of the core questions that you guys have is data engineers are in demand what is the future of data engineering and is it a good career why are data engineers are important for the companies will data engineering be automated what is the salary of data engineers and how can you become a data engineer we will be answering all of these questions in this video so stick with me also if you find this video helpful then don't forget to hit that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comment section also so let's get started so number one question let's answer is that is data engineers are in demand or not the dice 2020 tech job report said data engineering was the fastest growing job in the technology with the 50 percent year over year growth in the number of open position companies remain hungry for data engineers and other roles that involve wrangling with the massive data set according to breakdown of data from burning glass nova platform which analyzes millions of active job posting data engineering remains top tech job with a 88.3% increase in posting over past 12 months whether you are a data engineer data scientist or data architect you are going to mostly spend your most of the time in cleaning data getting data and processing data and finding end results such as finding the value for the business just look around you everyone is on their phone and using various platforms such as instagram snapchat whatsapp and so many different applications when you have interaction with these applications it generates a lot of data and the company wants to understand what their users like and dislike so that they can improve their product and provide more value in 2019 the cto of ibm said that 87 percentage of the data science project never make it into production gartner predicts 80 percent of the data science project fails it took some time for the market to understand that data scientists cannot do everything alone they need someone who can actually process data beforehand so that data scientists can mainly focus on analyzing and finding some insights from the data. Data engineers need to figure out how to build a data architecture and how data can be organized and structured in data warehouse. So data engineer basically filters what's good and what's bad and then passing data for further processing which saves a lot of time for data scientists and machine learning engineers. So we answered why data engineering is in demand. Now let's understand what is the future of data engineering. Data is growing at an exponential rate as more and more people are coming online and using different products in their day-to-day -day life and if data is growing at this rate then it's kind of obvious that we need people and technologies that can manage and process these data traditionally companies have focused on collecting visualizing data now that teams have figured out this problem they are starting to think about better ways to transform manage and track their data new tools are coming into the picture and making things more efficient and easier every data has its own problem and we need to deal with them differently so is data engineering a good career yes we already looked into the detailed data and the statistics behind that so let's answer the next and one of the most important question which is why do companies even need data engineers till now companies used to collect data and do some visualization to get some insights but now they have realized that they need to move fast with the speed of data they are getting and how consumer behavior is changing. Real world data is really messy. We get data from different sources and some of the source are feedback forms. So sometimes users don't even provide the feedback. So we get null values or they just write random keywords to just to fill out the form and we get garbage data. These information are not useful. So we need to first filter out the garbage and then pass the data on to the next stage to the data scientist to process and find the more insight. If you have been following me till now, then you will know that I always talk about business and generating value. So every data project has one goal at the end is to generate value for the business and improve their product life cycle. So basically the companies need people who can help them to solve their problems. So now this answer will data engineering be automated or not? According to academic publication by the Oxford Martin School, around 50% of all US jobs are at risk of being automated and replaced by robots. There is a website called as replaced by robot that does research for different job titles and gives final result based on the market demand and work. 
According to this side, there is a 3% chance of automation for data engineering. Now this is just a prediction and no one can predict future. There are few things we can still understand such as every data is different and it needs different processing logic plus business users have different requirements sometimes they need data once a day and sometimes they need data in real time. Data systems are complex and there are various technologies that are working together to achieve final outcome. To automate these things is really difficult but we can't be sure about it. From the last 6 to 7 years, I've been hearing a lot that software engineering will get automated and they have made some progress in that. So OpenAI has come up with the algorithm called GPT-3 that does some of the automation of the software engineering but we are still not there and still software engineers are in demand. So you don't have to worry about being automated by the robot or anything because so right now basically you need to focus on learning new things and improving your skill set because it is in demand right now. So now let's answer what is the salary of a data engineer. In India according to Glassdoor survey it is around 8 lakh per annum. This is more than most of the average IT companies pay for other roles. Pay scale also have the similar numbers. In the US it is around 100k dollars that is more than average pay for all the other roles. I myself started my career with the 7 lakh per annum as a fresher. Like this there are so many websites that will give you this information. I will put links to all of these things in the description so check that out. So now let's answer final question is that how to learn data engineering and how to get started with the data engineering. Now whenever you start learning new things it's really important that you learn by doing things. And if you have been following me till now and this channel then you will know I've been posting a lot of stuff related to data engineering such as I've already have the playlist for entire data engineering roadmap so you can check that out. I've also started a project series where I teach skills and implementation of the project. So you will basically do entire project end to end while doing the project you will learn new things and understand how they work together. So you can check that out and you can click over here to watch it and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.